What if I told you these models and many more are free? That's right, 100% free. These are Photos Mint fan art models and his entire back catalog as of January 1st, 2023 is free on printables. <laughs> that is awesome for a number of reasons, but let me show you some of the models that you could print for free and then we'll talk about why this is incredible. First up, I wanna talk about this model. This is Treebeard. You might recognize this model from the Lord of the Rings universe. Tree? I am no tree. This was printed on the Anycubic M3 Premium. This one in Soriatech resin. Now I've shared this model before out on social networks and it's probably one of my favorite because of all of the detail in the leaves and I just love it, I love it. This is Kratos and he is from the God of War series. This fan art model here has so much detail on it. The beard and the, the, the front of what Kratos is wearing, it's staggering. Thank you. Now this was printed on the Anycubic M3 Premium, that one, but the resin was a mix. It was a mix of Soriatech Fast Gray and some old Prusa Tough Orange that I had, and I love it. I love this color. This is Mando right here. This is the way. Both the model and the base were printed on the Saturn II, that one, in Prusa Mint Tough Sandstone Model Resin. And I do like how this turned out. What's interesting with some of the models that I've shown you the detail is there, it's exquisite, but there's not so much ornate detail here, but tons of smooth surfaces. Most of the models that I'm showing you have ornate detail and it's amazing. Mando though doesn't have as much detail, but it's still a wonderful model and the position of the head is perfect because you can just tell what he's thinking. Now, I had some issues with the Saturn too. I have two Mando bodies here because during the printing of this one, the base wouldn't print. For some reason, it wouldn't stick to the build plate. And uh, I swapped some things around, I re-leveled it. This now printed and the base printed, but this had issues because it pulled away from the build plate. So now I've got an extra Mando body. I really hope to get that Saturn II dialed in. I know Uncle Jesse has one and loves his, and I'd really love to love mine. You might recognize this. This is King of the Dead from Lord of the Rings as well. The dead do not suffer the living to pass. Now this was printed on the Prusa SL1S. This one! And this is using Prusa Mint's tough, rich black resin. The details are stunning on this and I love how the base turned out. The base is just glorious. This is King of the Dead and obviously he looks dead but it's glorious at the same time. How about Gore, the God Butcher? Now, this is Christian Bale's character in Thor, Love and Thunder. This was printed on the Prusa SL1, that one, in Prusa Mint's tough anthracite gray resin. I love how this turned out. I absolutely adore the patterns that are here, and you can see on Gore's face, just, he knows what's going on. Oh. Great job on this model, Flotus. Check out Venom. So many snacks, so little time. Look at the tongue, look at the detail on this freaking model right here. The teeth and the model, they all print separately with tons of support, but the support is easy to remove. This one did have some issues. It did delaminate over here and it's unfortunate. Now, it's not something that's really visible from the front and yes, I do gotta find some super glue to put Venom's teeth in. This was printed on the Anycubic M3 Premium. This one, in a mix of Soriatech Fast Gray and Prusa Mint Tough Anthracite Gray resins. I, I love how it turned out. The tongue though is just fantastic. You can tell, look at the detail on it. Look at the texture on it. That's one of the things I love about Fotis' models is the texture that's available and resin printers really seem to bring that out. I'll get you your teeth, I promise. Check out Lilith. Save us. Lilith is an amazing model. This was printed on the Anycubic M3 Premium. That one. In that mix of tough anthracite gray from Prusa Mint and the Soriatech Fast Gray. I love how the detail turned out. And this has a mix of both 
exquisite detail, such as in the horns and the face, but then the body, you have that smooth organic texture and the almost puzzle-like pieces of the clothing go around it. Oh, it's such a cool model and it's imposing. It's menacing. Oh, I, I can't wait to tell you about this one. This is Moon Knight. And Moon Knight is flexible. This was printed on the Nexa 3D Zip. This one in their X475 Flex material. When I first started printing with this, I didn't have clear instructions on how to use it. I thought it was a standard flexible material, so I started printing it out. I was blown away because this model took one hour and 45 minutes to print, which, what? And then coming off the build plate was easy. The supports came off easy. And originally I dunked it in some IPA. And then I dried it off. I put it in the cure. I thought I was all good, but look. It's tacky, it's sticky but it doesn't leave any residue on the fingers. And so I thought, well, this is interesting. And I contacted Nexa 3D and I was able to get a breakdown on how this material is finished properly. And it turns out I need to cure it in water for 60 minutes. I need a mold release spray and two different dunkings of isopropyl alcohol. It's a fantastic material. And I'm actually going to do an individual episode on it because I find it so fascinating. But right now you get to see it representing Moon Knight from Photos Mint. Now this here is Boba Fett. <laughs> the reason I wanted to show you this is because you don't have to have a resin 3D printer in order to print Photos Mint fan art models. This was printed on the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon. This one. And it was printed using Poly Alchemy FX Walnut. It's a glorious filament, and I don't even know if it's available anymore, but the bamboo did a great job representing it. There's even this, this tiny little part. Look at this, look at this, this tiny, this tiny little part right here. So I printed it on the bamboo and I thought it was gonna fail. It, it said it detected spaghetti and then it didn't and it was wiggling back and forth and then sure enough, it printed. And as you can tell, there's a lot of support material on Boba Fett still. So why don't we see if this can come off and then why don't we properly put in Boba Fett's rangefinder? What do you say? So now what I'm supposed to do is take this rangefinder and and stick it in without breaking it. It happened. <laughs> There we go, look at that. This is Boba Fett by Photos Mint and this model was printed on the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon using Polyalchemy FX Walnut. Have a look at Skeletor. Not so fast, my royal enemy. Look at this, this is really cool. This was printed on an old Prusa i3 Mark III, this one the one that I installed the E3D Revo system on. There's blue filament coming out! I used a 0.6 millimeter nozzle, 0.3 millimeter layer height, and this was printed in cookie cad filament. The cookie cad filament that I got from their booth at the East Coast Rep Rap Festival. Oh, Skeletor looks glorious in this color scheme. It's almost like a, like some sort of crazy tasty drink. All right, like, there's a little bit of support on him, not as much as Mando. There we go. Skeletor, supports removed, cookie cad filament on a Prusa i3 Mark III with a Revo 0.6 millimeter nozzle. Now the supports I put in specifically in Prusa Slicer because I knew that the chin would need some and I knew that this part would need some. However, I forgot Skeletor has amazing cheekbones that need support. And I don't think it detracts from the model, but if I were to print that again, I would add supports under his mighty cheeks. So this news, Photos Mint fan art models for free over on printables as of January 1st, 2023. And this is but a small selection of what's there and available for you to print for free. 
Now again, you don't have to have a resin 3D printer to print the Photosmint models, as I showed you, with the glorious Skeletor and the amazing Boba Fett. Here's how it's all going to work. January 1st, 2023, the Photosmint fan art back catalog in its entirety is available over at printables.com. Now, Photos isn't gonna stop working. The guy has to create, it's in his blood. And so when he creates new fan art models, they will first be available exclusively to his Patreon audience for 30 days, and then after 30 days, released over on printables. This does not include the Photos Mint originals, such as the Flower Dragon. Those are still going to be exclusive to the Photos Mint Patreon, and of course, I will put a link to his Patreon down below. This is a bold move by Fotis because the Patreon is how he survives. And so I encourage you, if you download any of the models from printables, if you have the means available, find out how to support him over on Patreon and do so. I think he is a wonderful artist and I think supporting him and his team gets us as a community more incredible models and supporting him on Patreon does get you the fan art models 30 days in advance, plus access to all of the originals that he creates. Now, Fotis, uh, I would be remiss if I didn't mention your team. I know, you're, I know you've got Brit, I believe art director Brit, and Charo Zuck, that person, he can put supports on anything. He is a support wizard. And the reason I bring that up is because many Many of the fan art models available on printables and what Fotis produces, Charo is able to pre-support them. So all of these resin prints that I've done, I didn't have to use the slicer to add the supports. I didn't have to use Prusa slicer, chip tube box, lychee slicer, any cubic slicer, whatever. Take your pick. I didn't have to use any of the slicers support systems to generate supports, Charo went through and expertly put supports exactly where they're needed. And you can use those to print on your resin 3D printer. You just load it, you hit print, and then in a few hours, or sometimes just less than two, you get yourself a model. Oh, and you know what else? Here's the great part. If you've already printed a Photos Mint fan art model, such as these, or any of the other ones that are available, because they will be on printables, you can then take a picture and upload a make of that model. And that gets you Prusa meters, and Prusa meters can be redeemed for real world stuff, such as Prusa swag, filament, or at 10,000, a Prusa Mini Plus. Wow. Fotis, my brother, I am so proud of you. I hope this is just the beginning of the amazing stuff you and your team are going to do, and I really can't wait to see what 2023 brings us. If you made this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. Fight for a cause you believe in. Happy freaking New Year! And as always, high five. Thank you.